Thank you very much for joining me on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. A rare long track system for October is forming. This is not typical. By long track, I mean starting off near the coast of Africa and marching all the way across the Atlantic toward the Caribbean. It's not this one. This one is Sean, and that one is falling apart. There's a lot of wind shear kind of hitting that. A front will help to curve it away. That's what usually happens in October when you have a system out here, but this one's going to be sneaky and kind of ride under some of the wind shear and just head in the direction of the Caribbean. And you see it here. Look at all the models. And what I want to do ahead is compare the European and the American models, there are some differences, show you those water temperatures and get into the timing of some of this. So you can see here, this is off the coast of Africa. Here's South America right here. So the Caribbean would be right about here. All of the models, the not good ones and the good ones and these lines, they're computers. Some are more high powered than others. They're all marching that area off to the west. So let, let's, I wanna show you the setup. Let me get right into this. This is the European model. Here is the Gulf. We're watching this area that came off of Florida with the severe weather and the tornadoes yesterday by Bermuda today. Bermuda, as expected, that heavy rain around. Here's the Caribbean. Here is Sean. And then this here, that's the spot I'm watching. Not very organized at this time, but I keep my eye on everything. So uh, this is the setup right now. Now let me take you out in time and show you what I'm seeing as we get, go uh, forward. This is just marching right through the weekend by the time we get into Sunday into early next week. So this would be Sunday night and Monday. Now, here's what we're seeing with the uh, setup. This little area here, that is Tropical Storm Sean, which falls apart, which is what usually happens. But look at this area behind it, that is starting to flare up. If you look at yesterday's video, there's a lot of wind shear. So wind's just knocking across uh, the tops of the thunderstorms of Sean. Uh, but the wind shear is up here, not so much down here. So this little sneaky guy is going to make a run at the Caribbean by the time we get into next week. I'm not sure on the strength. I want to talk about that in a second. But let me stop it here. This is by the time we get into Wednesday. Here is the setup, and this is the key for what could happen in the Caribbean. So it's this area area here, the European model has this becoming a tropical storm. It develops it. There's high pressure to the north. As we've talked about all season long, that's a blocker. That there acts like a fence, so this can't shoot to the north. It's being blocked by the big blue H. It just continues to work this way. But this time of year, we get these fronts that come off the United States. There's a front right here. Usually, these fronts could kind of grab these things and turn them around. But high pressure, the front, it's just a very dynamic uh, area. High pressure will continue to keep it going to the west. And then you see this front here. Here, but what happens is this front kind of weakens. It's not a strong one, so it's not really able to reach down and grab it and kind of pull it up. So with that, by the time we get into a late next week and potentially next week, and we're talking a week from now, there's going to be changes. The weather changes, but there is the potential of a tropical system in the Eastern Caribbean by the time we get into late next week or next weekend. And then there's another front. And the timing of that will be key. Will that uh, drag this? Uh, will this be slow? So this just kind of works its way into the Caribbean. Or if this front is quicker, again, it could kind of reach down, grab it, and spin it back to the north. So I'm watching the fronts. Initially, though, that area of high pressure will keep this moving to the west. Uh, but I want to get into the strength in a moment uh, because that's also very tricky this time of year. All right. Here's the American model. It's showing generally a similar thing. You see these two areas here. That's uh, Sean. There's the area we're watching off the coast of Africa. Bermuda, just showed you right there, the heavy rain that is around at times today. Now, let's go way out on time on this American model. This is by the time we get into Monday. American and European are the two best models. Very high-powered computer systems. Sean falls apart, and there's the area back behind it that we're watching, just like the uh, European. So again, it's nice when I see this agreement out there. And then moving forward, I showed you that area of high pressure to the north. The American model is seeing that, not quite as strong, but it does take this blob a little bit closer toward the Caribbean by later next week. This would be by about Thursday. Uh, and then you see here, look at that rain by Bermuda. There's that first front. The second front's back here. So same setup as the European model. So things are kind of seeing that. Now what happens here though, if uh, we were to go out in time, it, the American model does weaken this and it does curve it a little bit more and almost misses or does miss uh, the Caribbean because it says this front is going to be a little bit stronger. 
This stuff is way down the road, but I like to show you everything I'm thinking. I don't like to uh, leave anything uh, kind of behind the scenes. So I'm watching one front here, one front here, and we're going to keep an eye on this system that will be close to the Caribbean. Either way, it's going to be close to the Caribbean by late next week. Now, how strong does it get? Well, it's really hard to tell at this point because, again, it's just off the coast of Africa. It has barely developed. This green shading here, this is over time, 24 hours over time, 48 hours, so a couple days, three days out in time, four days out in time, four days out in time, some of the models bring it into this green shading, making it a tropical storm. The European model definitely has this as a stronger tropical storm uh, in about five to six days from now. So that's what uh, I'm kind of seeing. I'm seeing this becoming a named system. Now, water temperatures are also key. Now, this time of year, uh, a lot hinges on these fronts in the wind shear. That's actually a little more important than the water temperatures. With that said, the water temperatures are so very warm that if this area kind of misses these fronts and rides into the Caribbean, it could really feed off of these water temps. 30 degrees Celsius near the Eastern Caribbean for us, that's about 85, 86, 87 degrees Fahrenheit. That is super warm. That is a lot of fuel for this. Now, ahead of that system that we're watching, this is Sean again. It was a tropical storm, then a tropical depression, back to a tropical storm. Uh, it will eventually be a tropical depression again and just kind of weaken as it sits out there. Now, back to this, you can see that big blob there right by Bermuda. We're dealing with some of the heavier rain. That's going to move out pretty soon, though. So that's going to kick out. As I was mentioning, it was more last night and this morning. This is that trailing front that did bring that severe weather back toward Florida, scattered showers and storms in the Bahamas, hit or miss Central America, Haiti, uh, Dominican Republic, back through Jamaica, even Puerto Rico, some spotty storms today. So a little bit of a closer look watching over here. We could see a flare up on the eastern Pacific side. I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. Let me show you the short term and then I want to get into the uh, forecast and then I want to recap this uh, long track system. This is today, hit or miss shower, Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominica, Guadalupe. We may see one or two Trinidad and Tobago. If you don't have the rain, it is has been so so hot. Uh, we have been boiling out there and you can see here this is tomorrow afternoon spotty shower Trinidad, Haiti, uh, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, a pop-up shower storm Costa Rica, Panama. It's been more active not for all of us but it has definitely been more active and then moving forward Mexico we're going to see that higher chance of rain this trailing front from the northern Bahamas back here. Uh, we're going to see that higher chance of rain and by the way Mexico, uh, Cuba, United States, Bahamas, Belize, even Honduras, Guatemala. I'm going to be watching these fronts. We'll eventually start to get some shifts in our winds as we get deeper into the autumn season. All right, if the area behind Sean gets a name, the next name on the list is Tammy, Vince, and then Whitney after that. And if we get through the list this year, it's not the Greek alphabet this year. We go to a backup list of names. There's a secondary list of names. This spot here in the Eastern Caribbean may develop. I'll keep an eye on that. But overall, uh, Eastern uh, Pacific, I should say, Eastern Pacific, but not much uh, development uh, to be expected in the uh, Eastern Pacific. All right, so Jamaica today, pop-up shower storm. A little bit of a better chance as we get into the weekend. 20 to 30% chance through the weekend for the Cayman Islands. 30% chance the next few days, Trinidad out in Tobago and again very hot Grenada 10 to 20 percent chance 20 percent chance the next three days in Barbados I was showing you in that model Again, a few little passing showers possible in that 20% chance for us in St. Lucia. 10 to 20% chance today through the weekend, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. 30% chance today in Guadalupe. 20% chance of a shower tomorrow. 30% chance the next two days in Dominica. About a 20% chance on Sunday. Same thing in Martinique, uh, 20 to 30% chance through the weekend. Puerto Rico, a few more pop-up storms this uh, weekend. If you get some, they could be on the strong side. 20% chance U.S. Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands. Bermuda, of course, the heavier weather around this morning, and then we're going to be in much better shape later today through tomorrow. 20% chance today. Antigua and Barbuda, 10% chance tomorrow. 20% chance through the weekend. St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, 10% uh, chance in Anguilla, small chance of a shower scooting by. 20% chance St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. As we work our way into Belize, again, hit or miss shower storm, isolated as we get into the weekend. 30% chance the next couple days in the Bahamas, favoring our northern zones with that old front, up to a 50% chance on Sunday. 20 to 30% chance this weekend in the Yucatan of Mexico, uh, back into uh, the uh, kind of a western tier of Mexico, we have that better chance. 20% chance limit it the next few days, Turks and Caicos, pop-up showers and storms. I was showing you that in Haiti and the Dominican Republic, if you get one, isolated areas of flooding. Otherwise, it's going to be very hot. 40% storm chance tomorrow, Dominican Republic. 20% chance the next couple days in Cuba. 30% chance on Sunday. 10 to 20% chance 
this weekend in Aruba and Curacao. Rain chance limited, but it's not out of the question that we get a passing shower. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Uh, Costa Rica holding on over toward Panama to that 70% chance. Uh, 30 to 40% chance in northern Venezuela. 20% chance in Guyana. Again, limited and staying limited as we get into Suriname, 10 to 20% chance. So all eyes on this system that is coming off the coast of Africa. Shauna at ahead of it will weaken and fall apart. But that system behind it will move to the west, and it could be close to us in the Caribbean by late next week. Again, the strength and all that stuff is stuff I'll fine-tune with you. And keep an eye on those fronts. There'll be two that will be very key in the track of this system. And we I think it's 49. i got to check my math here. I believe it's 49 days left in the uh, hurricane season. So again, a long track system, rare for October. Thank you for sharing this channel, getting the word out about that, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.